Good evening, everyone. Welcome to my dining room. We will be starting in a few moments and we'll wait for people to get on. We are in day four of our novena to the Holy Spirit in preparation for Pentecost. So that's why I'm wearing red. And I really want to encourage everyone as we prepare for Mass this weekend that you wear red. It would be wonderful if you'd wear red. The Holy Spirit is symbolized as a dove, but red and fire and wind and all those things... Uh, are part of that. Yes, I did get some sun, Kim. I'll tell you about that in a little bit. So we'll start in a few seconds here. Let a couple more people get on. We'll start in a few moments. Okay. Hope all of you are enjoying your evening. Um, I want to welcome all of you to my dining room, and we're going to start our evening update. Welcome, everyone. Hope all of you had a very wonderful Memorial Day. I had a great Memorial Day. Um, it was great to celebrate Mass and to pray the rosary. And then I had a chance to go play golf, uh, and I played a wonderful round of golf. So it was the fourth time out, and I think I still have a little bit of game from back when I was a young man. So that was a lot of fun to play golf, played with some parishioners. Uh, they graciously invited me to play golf, and it really made my day. One funny thing that you'll get a kick out of is we got caught in the middle of a rainstorm on the eighth hole, and we finished the round really quickly and we were drenched to our to our, our very body uh, with uh, with the rain which was kind of cool to kind of get caught in the rain it was fun we were laughing and it made the day special then I had a chance to talk to my mother which was wonderful to talk to her she has just gotten a grand pad and we're going to try to get her on to YouTube so maybe she can watch some of these videos as well um, then today we prayed for all those that have lost their lives in service to our nation. And me and all of you probably being with family, having a steak, enjoying the sunshine, enjoying the weather, riding your motorcycle, going to a park, going to a campground. That's what our veterans wanted us to be doing. And their sacrifice was for that, so that we could have a life. And um, because that's what they would want to be doing, those that are have been laid to rest. They wanted to be with their families. Um, that was a little bit about, about my homily earlier today. It's, it's it, Freedom isn't free. I, I don't agree with that statement. Actually, freedom is free. It's a gift from God. And uh, the freedom that we receive from God is to be used for virtue and for holiness and goodness. And that's why people fought for our nation, for the principles of that, not for this impoverished view of freedom that we see so often that I want this and I have every right to have this. That's the definition for a lot of people of freedom. It comes from a modern philosophical outlook of a freedom of indifference. 
The Catholic Church looks at that very differently from the classical philosophical tradition that the purpose of freedom is so that we can flourish in doing that which is virtuous. Freedom is for excellence. Freedom isn't for mediocrity. And so many people have lost that. Don't tell me what to do. That's the people's definition of freedom. And that's not what the founders and the framers considered when it came to freedom. You know, we are endowed by our creator with certain inalienable rights and among them are the right to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Um, and are you willing to suffer to fight for those God-given rights? That's what we're celebrating today. Uh, not for the freedom to complain to customer service. Um, there's been an impoverishment to our understanding of freedom. And we as Catholics are um, have a chance to really reestablish that to introduce people to a deeper and more profound sense of freedom. Uh, there's your cliff notes of my homily earlier in the day. Okay, now we're going to pray. I'd love to pray with all of you. And we're going to pray our fourth day of the Novena to the Holy Spirit in preparation for Pentecost. So, I am very happy that we are now doing these videos on the Four Parish page. They give me much more control over who can be on, on this site when we have that. So I want to encourage you to follow and to like the page. Follow and to like the page. Okay. All right. Are you ready to pray? Okay. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let's just take a moment of silence and then ask the Holy Spirit to be with us. Thou in toil art comfort sweet, pleasant coolness in the heat, solace in the midst of woe. Today, on the fourth day of the Novena, we pray for the gift of fortitude. So we have to remember that all the seven gifts of the Holy Spirit have been granted to you. As we pray this Novena, we pray that it may be renewed and stirred up again into our souls. By the gift of fortitude, the soul is strengthened against natural fear and supported to the end in the performance of duty. Fortitude imparts to the will an impulse and energy which move it to undertake without hesitancy the most arduous tasks to face dangers, to trample underfoot human respect and to endure without complaint the slow martyrdom of even lifelong tribulation. Jesus says, he that shall persevere unto the end, he shall be saved. Let us pray. Come, O blessed spirit of fortitude, uphold my soul. Uphold my soul. In time of trouble and adversity, sustain my efforts after holiness. Strengthen my weakness. Give me courage against all the assaults of my enemies that I may never be overcome and separated from thee, my God and greatest good. Amen. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Now we will pray seven glory bees for the seven gifts of the Holy Spirit. For the gift of the spirit of fear and wonder. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. 
for the gift of piety. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. For the gift of knowledge, glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. For tonight's gift, the gift of fortitude, glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. For the gift of counsel, glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. For the gift of understanding, glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. For the gift of wisdom, Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Please join me now for the act of consecration to the Holy Spirit. We pray. On my knees before the great multitude of heavenly witnesses, I offer myself, soul and body, to Thee, eternal Spirit of God. I adore the brightness of Thy purity, the unerring keenness of Thy justice, and the might of thy love. Thou art the strength and light of my soul. In thee I live and move and am. I desire never to grieve thee by unfaithfulness to grace. And I pray with all my heart to be kept from the smallest sin against thee. Mercifully guard my every thought and grant that I may always watch for thy light and listen to thy voice and follow thy gracious inspirations. I cling to thee and give myself to thee and ask thee by thy compassion to watch over me in my weakness. Holding the pierced feet of Jesus and looking at his five wounds and trusting in his precious blood and adoring his open side and stricken heart, I implore thee, adorable spirit, helper of my infirmity, so to keep me in thy grace that I may never sin against thee. Give me grace, O Holy Spirit, Spirit of the Father and the Son, to say to thee always and everywhere, Speak, Lord, for thy servant heareth. Amen. And we will conclude our novena prayers by prayer for the seven gifts of the Holy Spirit. O Lord Jesus Christ, who before ascending into heaven did promise to send the Holy Spirit to finish thy work in the souls of thy apostles and disciples. Deign to grant the same Holy Spirit to me, that he may perfect in my soul the work of thy grace and thy love. Grant me the spirit of wisdom that I may despise the perishable things of this world and aspire only after the things that are eternal. The spirit of understanding to enlighten my mind with the light of thy divine truth. The spirit of counsel that I may ever choose the surest way of pleasing God and gaining heaven, the spirit of fortitude that I may bear my cross with thee, that I may overcome with courage all the obstacles that oppose my salvation, the spirit of knowledge that I may know God and know myself and grow perfect in the science of the saints, the spirit of piety that I may find the service of God sweet and amiable, the spirit of fear that I may be filled with a loving reverence towards God and may dread in any way to displease him. Mark me, dear Lord, with the sign of thy true disciples and animate me in all things with thy spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thanks, everybody, for joining me tonight. Um, there haven't been that many comments today, so I wonder if some people are not allowed to, to comment. I don't know. So God bless you. Thank you for joining me. Tomorrow we're going to have 1130 Rosary and Noon Mass. We'll have a morning encouragement and a daily update as we go into day five of our novena. Hope all of you have a good night. And may the Holy Spirit give you his consolation and peace. God bless you all. Good night.